everyone and welcome to the first in my new date recommendation series. You guys have been asking for this for so long, I've been preparing this series for so long and it's finally happening. Having lived in London my entire life, 31 years, I kind of want to share it with you the places that I've found that I really love and really think will impress. Now these places obviously don't have to be somewhere you have to go on a date but if you need somewhere new to take your friends and family and you're at a loss because there's so many chains in London and you just want something a little bit different or a new experience or a new bar or a new brunch place to go this series is going to hopefully give you all of my London knowledge. Oh that reminds me I'm also writing up proper full length reviews of all of these places on my blog. Menu details and uh, price details and location and really nice pictures as well. So if you prefer to read articles and bookmark particular places then be sure to head over to katiesnooks.com for that. So for the first in the series I'm going to be talking you through three of my favourite brunch spots in London. Number one is called Brunswick East. This is one of mine and my boyfriend's favourite places for brunch. He was the one that introduced me to it. It is located in Dalston. It's in a really bizarre location. It's kind of off a courtyard and down an alleyway. But once you are there, you will not be disappointed. The food, the brunch is incredible. It's an East London cafe and bakehouse serving Australian inspired brunch. The first thing I should say is the coffee is beautiful. Some of the best coffee I've had in London and alongside their food, it just makes for the most gorgeous brunch location. The decor is very minimalistic. It's kind of a lot of wood panelling, cork and MDMF. A little bit of greenery here and there too. It's very simple, very minimalistic, but it just makes all the emphasis on the food, which is spectacular. There is also outdoor seating in a little courtyard. If it's in the summer, this can be super busy. So make sure you get there early or a bit later than usual. But there's also lots of space inside and also a waiting area if you have to wait for your table. The last thing I had there was called the Autumn Hash and it was beautiful. Potato hash with celeriac remoulade, bacon crumb, a fried egg, and homemade red, red pepper ketchup. There's also a good amount of vegan options. All the food on the menu is around the 10, 11 pound mark. So it's not your cheapest, but the food is absolutely worth it. They also have an amazing range of smoothies and juices, and they make their own bread and have a bakery section indoors as well. So if you're after vegan, they do a really good vegan Snickers bar that they make in branch. Loads of cakes, oh, I just love it. It's a great little spot if you're looking to impress. They also have a branch in Hackney. So I'm gonna leave a website down below and check out my blog as well for another review. But that is recommendation number one. Recommendation number two is called The Watch House. The reason I found this is because my boyfriend used to live opposite the one in Chad Thames. There is also a branch of this in Spitalfields and Bermondsey Street. So they've got loads of different branches. The one I really recommend is in Chad Thames. It's a few minutes walk from Tower Bridge. The food is gorgeous. I think the typical pancakes with blueberries and maple syrup and strawberries. Think eggs benedict. Think nice halloumi and avocado and bacon. It's all your favourite typical called brunch meals. This place also has an amazing range of bakery um, and cake and bread options as well. So even if you're picking up something to go, I would definitely recommend there. And the coffee is also spectacular. The one down Shed Thames is set in an old merchant spice factory, which I think is really cool. And the decor again, it's very typically kind of East London. It's a bit disheveled, it's a bit run down, um, but I really recommend it. The same kind of prices as Brunswick East as well. And for my third recommendation, you might have seen this review on my blog, but I really recommend a place called Barge East. It's a five minute walk from Hackney Wix station but what makes this place so brilliant is that it is set on a barge so in 2018 three mates went to holland to buy a barge this barge is 114 years old so it's got so much history they bought it back they renovated it they made it just the cutest place to go and eat and drink and hang out with friends when i went i had the most delicious meal which was anglet which is kind of like a steak um, with a black pudding hash, fried duck egg and pickled shallot. Oh my goodness, it was beautiful. G, when we went, had smashed avocado, semi-dried tomato, chilli jam, pea shoots, sourdough toast, 
is vegan but he added some bacon and an egg as well and they also do a beautiful kind of like omelette with smoked haddock and hollandaise and i tried that my parents had that and it was really nice so the food quality and the food standard is really really high and they also have a really nice range of small plates as well like scotch egg and douja scotch egg and chickpea fries and burrata so there's going to be something for everyone there if you are not in the mood for brunch barge east also do an amazing roast dinner and they hold events i recently last week went to a burns night event there where we had a four course Scottish meal with loads of whiskey and entertainment and it was so much fun so there is loads happening on that barge I really recommend it there's also a really great view of the Olympic Stadium from the barge and also there's loads of room outside kind of where they are docked up so I'm sure in the summer it will be really beautiful and um, I would recommend booking this place because it is quite small it's a very small boat just so you're not disappointed and also if you do suffer from motion sickness I really wouldn't worry at all it's docked well and proper you cannot feel it doesn't feel like you're on a boat it just feel, feels like you're in a normal restaurant again the prices of the brunch is around 10 pounds they also do bottomless brunch with prosecco or bloody mary and also the roast they have a good deal 23 pound for two courses or 29 for three so i love that place and i can't wait to go back and try it that more of their food soon i hope this wasn't too long i hope i wasn't talking too quickly and i hope this has been a bit helpful and i hope that you guys have enjoyed it i have got so many more of these videos planned i have restaurants i have activities street food markets all of those date recommendations coming up soon and as i go and find new places i'm going to be constantly filming and taking pictures so i can share my recommendations with you guys so let me know in the comments if you enjoyed this and if you have any other recommendations that you think i should check out and potentially add to this series i'm really looking forward to it oh, i love you guys lots happy dating Mwah.